Hi everyone, how is everyone doing? Welcome to Valerie Art Channel. So today I am going to unbox Geraldo de Paolo. Um, I've been using their paper pad so far and it's really good. So I'm trying. So this is their watercolor pad, which is very thick and also 100% cotton. It doesn't say here, but usually it says somewhere there, which is very good and also very uh, affordable. So I thought, you know, if one product is pretty good, I want to try other products. So this set I bought for about $15, I think, $15, $20, some, somewhere about. So this is a starting kit. So it comes with one watercolor paint to set. And then it also has a brush. And I don't think this is <clears throat> this is a pad, but it's not an artist pad. I don't think it is because meaning it's not 100% cotton because if it is, it would be much more pricey. But it is 300 GSM, so I am interested to see that. And it is medium tooth. And it is A4 paper. So let's do a review. I'm going to put all the links below if you want to get it. And okay, let's check out the paper first. Oops. So as I say, this is definitely not cotton. You can see like the quality is very different than the 100% cotton one, which is this. Um, this is similar. I'm not sure if it's mold make. Mold make is better just because it's like archers. Archers is mold make and it usually uses the paint so much better but that's what they've given us so this is pretty cheap but it doesn't mean that it's not good and this is the brush so we have we have a guide so that's really So what do we have? Okay, I'm very messy, aren't I? So everyone should have... Nope. So we have an angular brush. That one. And we have... A round brush, just a normal one, number five. This is one quarter, a quarter, and that is what is that called? A comb, a comb number six, and detailed, I think, detail number zero. I don't know if I'm gonna use detail there. Looks very fine. Oh, I don't edit this kind of. Um, I don't edit my video, which is why it's gonna be extremely slow for you guys. So we are going to try. They're all made in China, by the way. I'm gonna take this out just so that I will have a guide for future reference. That's very, very useful. So let's try this. So what I'm going to do with the paint, I am going to... Put it on the paper 
and we are going to try it that way and I'm gonna use the round brush maybe we should try all the brush Should we explore the packaging? Okay, so that's the back. Say Astrid's finest watercolor paint. I try to find other um, set because sometimes a product has like a student version and then they have a professional artist version. And with this one, this is the only one that I found. So maybe this is the artist version. And that's what it comes. That's how it looks like inside. It comes with the usual white, lemon yellow, yellow ochre, drape, deep green, burn umber, benzene, and Persian blue. The packaging is not as fancy, I find just very plain design uh, Monmart actually a lot fancier I think so if you can see Monmart this one is pretty but the inside is not as pretty sorry the packaging is good but um, the paint is not so hopefully this is different case. Hopefully this is going to be the case of okay, the case of this is gonna be very slow. So today I went to so I'm just gonna tell you a story. Today I went to the beach, right? And then everyone's basically having fun so this one is the burnt umber and I saw this guy and two couple two kids of his basically just you know um, putting on clothes after a dip in the water this one is burnt sienna and one of the kids was basically just waiting for the dad to finish wrapping up his sister but he's practically naked and he has a um, towel over him but he didn't cover his backside meaning like his the bottom of his body so his his um, bottom is basically shown to the world and also the place where he poops also shown to the world and I'm like well this is nice, isn't it? He's really young and stuff, so it's not like, you know, it's a gross type of view, but it was quite jarring. I'm like, oh. And I think like I found it particularly funny and interesting because I was watching this um, other video. This is light green and that is green tea. Oh, I, well, that's funny. People usually don't put light green. People usually put other kind of name for green. Um, I was listening to uh, the same similar story, but yesterday on a Graham Norton show clips, and it was similar. But the one that was telling the story was a girl, an adult girl. So maybe that's why today I encountered this little boy, basically with his anus um, staring back at me because I was carrying that story from last night with me and because he traumatized me I'm sharing it with you <laughs> welcome to a very soothing watercolor <laughs> you didn't expect that did you <laughs> so this is lemon yellow And this is white. I'm not sure why I'm putting the white. It says on the box that it is intermixable. Um, I think. 
that's what it says here. Chosen by first dark color range and used by and hobbies alike. Create when color is high, fully intermixable paints that ensure high standard of shades, transparency, accuracy. Use straight from the tube or dilute with water for what is missing and washes. Okay, so let's try that. Shall we try all the brushes? We are going to try the whole package. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do uh, proper watercolor painting. I'm not actually a painter. I'm just a hobbyist. That's what it is. A hobbyist. Um, and I'm not even trying to make myself look humble by any means. I really don't know how to do it. I just do abstract watercolor, which means I do whatever I want with it. That's basically what abstract watercolor means, to be honest. Okay, so I wet all the brush. Let's try it with the round brush. So let's try with the black. So it, wow, wow. This is good, guys. Look, wow, wow, wow. Okay. I did not expect. Oh, this is really good. I did not expect it to be really, really thick. So that's extremely good value. Hold on, let me just check how much I actually paid for it. Okay, so I paid for it. Sorry, I think like it's thirty dollars. Yeah, it's thirty dollars. So it wasn't fourteen, fifteen dollars. My apologies. But I got forty percent off today, so that's why I think I just thought it was cheaper. But that's thirty dollars for the whole thing for the whole package. So I think that was a good deal still. Oh no, I already stained. Look, even the cup, the paint doesn't want to get off from the brush. That is one really good. Really good paint. Okay, so this one is an umber the black is extremely opaque I am so oh my god it doesn't want to leave okay let's try the other brush this is, this is a comb brush comb so this one is burnt sienna. Oh, burnt sienna. You know what I really need? I think I want filbert. I like filbert, but I never have it. I don't know why I don't have it. Okay, so this is really, really good quality, guys. So thirty dollars for the whole package is a good value I think out of the three the one that doesn't really deliver is the paper but the paper is still good it's just not made for professional and I think something have to give because you know you can't have all three to be extremely premium price So this one is the Prussian blue. No, this one is the ultramarine blue, I think. No? No, no, Prussian blue. This is the Prussian blue. And this is the ultramarine one. I like how it is quite light and it has a high degree of transparency as well. And you don't need to have too much water and then the the paint picks up really well 
Let's see green deep detail. Use detail brush. Detail brush. Green deep. How deep do you want it? Oh, this detail brush is quite cool. Okay, so far, first use, first use, first impression is extremely great just because it is quite sturdy and you, I can see you can actually create details with this very easily. If not, So it's a bit murky though. Let's check out the, the light green. Light green. Light green is it's a bit muddy. Why is it muddy? Muddy, very muddy. Angler, check out the angler. Light green could be better. It's not as fun as I would like it. Let's check out the crimson red. Sometimes the red are the best colors. Okay, so the red is not as fun. You need to drag it. Wash, the wash is not that great. The paint doesn't really stay with the water that much. You have to drag the paint a lot with the red. Okay, let's try Vermilion. Vermilion is a bit better. Almost there, guys. Almost there. I like the primarily better. And so this is the yellow ochre. So maybe it will react differently on a different paper just because I know like uh, different paints react differently with different paper and sometimes it is better on a certain paper but this definitely doesn't really do it justice with this paper so maybe I need to change it with a different paper later but I am just trying it out based on what it's giving me so this is the white let's see if it's going to be great it says like you can mix it so let's see if mix well with the other color Again, I am not a professional watercolorist. I like watercolor, it's my favorite medium. I just use it when I want to. So those are all the colors right in front of you. And I think overall it's good value, it's only $30 Australian. Um, I'm not sure how much it is in, on, on Amazon though. But I'll put it down on the link down below if you want to try it for yourself. Um, I'm going to try it next time I think on a different paper just to see whether it's going to look good or not. But until then, I think it's done for today guys. So, bye! So that's the name of the product. Have a good one everyone. Click subscribe! I'll see you in the next video.